gold. The very mention of this precious metal conjures up images of wealth, power, and the relentless pursuit of fortune. The very word evokes images of adventure, riches, and the thrill of discovery. From the ancient civilizations that adorned their leaders with golden crowns to the modern day treasure hunters scouring the earth, gold has always been a symbol of ultimate success and prosperity. For centuries, this precious metal has captivated humankind. Its allure has driven men and women to the ends of the earth in search of that elusive glimmer that promises untold wealth. It has fueled empires, sparked migrations, and inspired countless tales of fortune and hardship. The great gold rushes of the 19th century, from California to Australia, reshaped entire societies and economies, leaving a lasting legacy on the world. But gold is much more than just a shiny metal. Its unique properties make it invaluable in various industries, from electronics to aerospace. Gold's conductivity and resistance to tarnish make it a critical component in modern technology. It's a key component in electronics and a symbol of prosperity and stability. In times of economic uncertainty, gold is often seen as a safe haven, a tangible asset that retains its value. The desire to find gold has driven people to the far corners of the earth, pushing the boundaries of exploration and shaping the course of history. From the frozen tundras of Alaska to the scorching deserts of Africa, the quest for gold has led to the discovery of new lands and the expansion of human knowledge. Understanding how and where gold forms is essential for anyone hoping to uncover its secrets. Gold deposits are often found in specific geological settings and recognizing these environments is crucial for successful prospecting. Prospecting, the art of searching for valuable minerals, relies heavily on geological knowledge. By studying rock formations and understanding the processes that lead to gold deposition, prospectors can identify promising areas to explore. By understanding the processes that create gold deposits and the visible clues they leave behind, prospectors increase their chances of striking it rich. Detailed geological maps and careful examination of rock formations can reveal the hidden treasures beneath the Earth's surface. Whether you're an armchair adventurer or an aspiring prospector, this essay will equip you with the knowledge to understand the fascinating world of gold exploration. From the history of gold rushes to the modern techniques used in prospecting, you'll gain a comprehensive understanding of what it takes to find gold. Gold is found in various geological settings, each with its own unique characteristics. From quartz veins in mountainous regions to placer deposits in riverbeds, the diversity of gold-bearing environments is vast. Prospectors, both past and present, have developed a keen eye for identifying these settings and the telltale signs that often accompany gold. The ability to read the landscape and recognize the subtle hints of gold's presence is a skill honed over years of experience. Join me as we delve into the depths of the earth, unraveling the mysteries of gold deposits and equipping you with the knowledge to embark on your own gold-seeking adventures. We'll explore the techniques used in both historical and modern gold mining and uncover the science behind gold formation. Remember, the thrill of the hunt is just as rewarding as the discovery itself. The journey of exploration, the excitement of the search, and the joy of uncovering even the smallest fleck of gold are experiences that stay with you forever. Gold a precious metal prized for its beauty and rarity is formed through a fascinating geological process that takes place deep within the Earth's crust. This process 
spanning millions of years, involves the interaction of heat, pressure, and mineral-rich fluids. Deep underground, where temperatures and pressures are extreme, hot fluids carrying dissolved minerals flow through cracks and fissures in the Earth's crust. These fluids, often heated by volcanic activity, act as solvents, leaching gold from surrounding rocks. As the fluids rise towards the surface, they cool and deposit the dissolved minerals, including gold, in concentrated forms. The type of gold deposit that forms depends on the specific geological conditions present during this process. Two primary types of gold deposits are recognized load deposits and placer deposits. Understanding the differences between these deposit types is crucial for effective gold prospecting. Load gold deposits, often referred to as primary gold deposits, form when gold-bearing fluids deposit their precious cargo within cracks, fissures or veins in solid rock. These deposits are the initial repositories of gold, capturing the precious metal in its most unrefined state. These deposits are the original source of gold, the mother load from which other gold deposits, such as placers, originate. The term mother load itself evokes the idea of a nurturing source, a rich vein that gives birth to secondary deposits scattered across the landscape. Imagine molten rock, or magma, deep within the Earth's crust. This molten material is a dynamic, ever-moving force, carrying with it a variety of dissolved elements and minerals. This magma contains dissolved gases and minerals including gold. As it moves and interacts with the surrounding rock, it becomes a rich, mineral-laden soup. As the magma cools and solidifies, the gold-bearing fluids are expelled. This process is akin to squeezing a sponge, where the precious fluids are forced out and seek new paths to travel. These fluids, under immense pressure, force their way into any available openings in the surrounding rocks they navigate through the tiniest of cracks and fissures, driven by the intense pressure and heat from the Earth's interior. Over time, the gold precipitates out of the cooling fluids, forming veins or lodes within the host rock. This precipitation process is gradual, often taking thousands or even millions of years to form significant deposits. Quartz, a common mineral found in these veins, often accompanies gold. The presence of quartz is not just incidental, it plays a crucial role in the formation and identification of gold deposits. The presence of quartz veins, especially those exhibiting a characteristic milky white color, can be a strong indicator of gold mineralization. These milky white veins are often the first clue geologists look for when searching for new gold deposits. Load gold deposits are often found in areas with a history of volcanic activity or intense tectonic forces, such as mountain ranges. These geological processes create the perfect conditions for gold to accumulate and form rich deposits. These deposits can be incredibly rich in gold, but often require extensive mining operations to extract. The process of mining these load deposits is complex and labour-intensive, involving advanced technology and significant investment to access the precious metal locked within the rock. Placer gold deposits, unlike load deposits, are secondary deposits formed by the erosion and transportation of gold from pre-existing load deposits. These deposits are created over vast periods of geological time as natural forces break down the original load deposits and carry the gold particles away. These deposits are essentially nature's way of concentrating gold, making them a prime target for prospectors. The process of finding placer gold involves a keen understanding of the natural forces at play and the patience to sift through sediment to find those precious flakes. Imagine a mountain range rich in load gold deposits. These mountains, towering and majestic, 
hold within them veins of gold that have been formed over millions of years through geological processes. Over millions of years, the relentless forces of erosion, driven by wind, rain and ice, gradually wear down the mountains. This natural weathering process is slow but powerful, breaking down the rock and releasing the gold trapped within. As the mountains erode, the gold-bearing veins are liberated from their rocky prisons. The gold, once hidden deep within the earth, is now free to be carried away by natural forces. This liberated gold, being denser than most other minerals, is then transported downstream by rivers and streams. The journey of these gold particles can be long and winding, as they are carried by the flow of water. As the water flow slows down in certain areas, such as bends in the river or behind boulders, the gold settles out of suspension, concentrating on the stream bed. These natural traps are where prospectors often find the richest deposits. These concentrated accumulations of gold are known as placer deposits. They represent the final resting place of gold particles that have travelled far from their original source. They are typically found in riverbeds, ancient stream channels and alluvial fans, which are fan-shaped deposits of sediment at the base of mountains. These locations are prime spots for prospectors to search for gold. Placer gold is typically found in the form of nuggets, flakes or fine dust. Each piece of gold tells a story of its journey from deep within the earth to the stream bed where it was discovered. For prospectors, finding even a small amount of placer gold can be a rewarding experience, connecting them to the ancient processes that created these precious deposits.